Hi, Scott Papineau here again from Ironworkers Local 720. So we're continuing on with our video series on rebar today. Last time we talked about snap tie, we did snap and wrap. Today we're going to focus in on the saddle tie. So once again, we're here in the training center. We've got our uh, rebar mock-up here, our welded cage we use for uh, tying and practice and stuff. So I've got a couple of ties already tied up here just to kind of, kind of explain uh, how the saddle tie and the saddle and the wrap tie works. So you can see here we have a standard saddle tie. So the nice thing about the saddle tie is it supports that horizontal bar on the vertical by having wire both on the top and the bottom. So it's very secured, used in situations like this where uh, we have a wall or maybe if we're tying stirrups to a uh, column or a beam uh, where we have multiple points of contact, we wanna make sure that it's uh, nice and tight. So as you can see from a saddle tie, it starts very similar to a snap tie. So we have the wire first starting by wrapping it around that vertical bar. So you can see the wire is wrapped underneath nice and tight. Um, it comes out in front of the horizontal bar. The wire travels uh, over top, around behind the vertical now on the top, top side, coming back into the front and it terminates on the front side of that horizontal bar with a standard twist, just like we normally do to make it nice and tight. So you can see everything is, the profile is very close. Uh, a wire uh, is close together on the horizontal and the vertical bar, nice and tight tie. Next to it here we have the uh, saddle and a wrap. So again, the uh, general design is exactly the same. We start with a wrap around the uh, vertical bar. In this case, we started on the bottom again. We came out from the bottom across the front of the horizontal bar, going back behind the vertical bar again. But with this being uh, having the extra wrap, so you can see we've wrapped 360 degrees all the way around that vertical bar. So you can see that extra wrap there on the top. So we wrap all the way around, coming back out on front, terminating on the front of the horizontal bar again with a nice twist uh, to keep that keep that bar or that wire nice and tight. Okay. So saddle saddle tie to the left, saddle and a wrap tie to the right. So these, uh, these ties are very, uh, very repeatable. So I'm gonna demonstrate here just a standard uh, saddle tie. So again, we start with our uh, 16 gauge wire um, and our pliers. We come around the backside, grabbing a hold, um, giving yourself enough wire because uh, as opposed to a snap and a snap and a wrap, we're gonna need a little bit more wire here. So we come around underneath nice and tight in front of that horizontal and around behind the vertical again. So now I come back with my pliers, grab it. Again, coming down nice and low so we get a nice tight profile in front, twisting, grabbing that intersection, give a pry, give a twist, and cut it off. So a standard saddle tie. So you can see, um, quite easy to tie up nice and tight. Okay, so demonstrating it again. So we come around behind, pull our wire nice and tight, around back, grab with the pliers, twist in front, finish it off, cut it off. So, um, you can see with a bit of practice, get a little bit faster, ties get a little bit tighter, okay, more production, and away we go. So this is your saddle tie. So continuing on with the saddle with a wrap, so everything is very, very much the same. We just need a little bit more wire this time. Again, wrapping around underneath, coming out in front, around behind, and here's where we add that extra wrap. So all the way around, 360 degrees, coming back in with the pliers, finishing off with a twist and a cut. So again, we've added that extra wrap around the, around the top. So very much the same. Again, repeatable, okay? Can be used in many different situations. Vertical, horizontal, stirrups, columns, pilings, you name it, okay? So all of this is part of that job task of the reinforcing iron worker or rodman, okay? Part of their career. This is part of their daily task. So if this is something that you're interested uh, in learning more about or even practicing, seeing if this is, uh, this is something you'd like to do, come on down here and see us at Ironworkers Local 720 and we can uh, teach you a little more about it. See you again. Next video we're going to talk about uh, figure eights or the champagne of ties as I like to call it. See you next time.